Part 1 5. Gateway Problem framing amounts to defining what problem you are proposing to solve. This is a critical activity because the frame you choose strongly influences your understanding of the problem, thereby conditioning your approach to solving it. For an illustration, consider Thibaudot and Brodicki's series of experiments in which they asked people for ways to reduce crime in a community. They found that the respondents' suggestions changed significantly depending on whether the metaphor used to describe crime was as a virus or as a beast. People presented with a metaphor comparing crime to a virus invading their city emphasized prevention and addressing the root causes of the problem, such as eliminating poverty and improving education. On the other hand, people presented with the beast metaphor focused on remediations, increasing the size of the police force and prisons. Exercise 1 As the technological revolution gathers pace, education and training are thought to be the answer to everything. They are, but we have to understand the question. Educating more people, and to a much higher standard, is vital. But we also have to educate them differently. The problem is that present expansion is based on a fundamental misconception the confusion of academic ability with intelligence. For years, academic ability has been conflated with intelligence, and this idea has been institutionalized into testing systems, examinations, selection procedures, teacher education, and research. As a result, many highly intelligent people have passed through education feeling they aren't. Many academically able people have never discovered their other abilities. Exercise 2. Food marketing refers to any activity conducted by a company in the food, beverage, or restaurant industry to encourage purchase of its products. Food preferences develop at a very early age, primarily through learning processes. Once established, these eating patterns are difficult to change. Parents are a key influence in the early development of food preferences. However, outside influences become increasingly important, especially during middle childhood and adolescence. Food marketing promotes highly desirable but unhealthy products to youth. The overexposure to food marketing presents a public health issue to youth. Unlike tobacco and alcohol consumption, young people do not need to learn that consuming these foods is rewarding. From birth, Humans prefer the taste of foods high in sugar, fat, and salt, i.e., the foods most commonly advertised. Exercise 3 Nutrition and quality of air are two of the most important drivers of good overall health. Make a wall with several vegetable boxes hung from one another and install it next to an outdoor living area or near a window and you'll be getting a good dose of both elements. Living wall gardens full of plants that breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen are a fantastic way to help filter the air surrounding a living area. This oxygen reaches a city dweller with a living wall if he or she is sitting on the balcony or sitting inside the home with the window open. Having a view of the vertical wall garden from the interior of the home will both reduce stress and increase the green view. Most importantly, growing vegetables in the garden means that you will also be providing nutritionally sound food for you and your family, so the living wall provides extensive benefits beyond simple beauty. Exercise 4 The idea that folk music is a product of nature played an important part in the rise of musical nationalism, and it was part of the complex of ideas at the root of romantic nationalism. In the German Romantic movement, the folk song was considered an expression of the purely human. Instead of being universal, however, that expression was thought to vary from one nation to the next. Folk song was considered a reflection of the particular mystical characteristics of a people, 
and to go back to times immemorial. In this scheme, the division of mankind into nations was a natural fact. Every nation was said to have its own deep-rooted identity, its national soul. Folk music was believed to be the clearest expression of the national character, a typical feature enshrined in every nation. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain, some things are not the same.